gentlemen, my name is Dr. John Belkowitz. I'm the director of R&D at Intelligent Concrete, where we specialize in saving the world with all the concrete in it. It's a beautiful day in May with a whole bunch of snow outside, um, and it is High Range Water Reducer Flower Week, supported by the Sunflower. Thank you, Sunflower. Ding! So today we're going over dosing a high range water reducer into your concrete. And the way that we talk about dosing admixtures, and I'm talking liquid admixtures here, uh, is by fluid ounces per cubic yard. Normally we have anywhere between 3 to 10 cubic yards in a load of concrete or a, load of, or, or a truck. So that's how we're going to dose it today. So I'm going to dive right into it. If you have any questions, any concrete concerns, let's... So there are a couple assumptions that we're going to make and I'll explain those assumptions. So the first one is the amount of total cementitious that's in our concrete. For our concrete today, we're going to assume 540 pounds of total cementitious. Now when I say cementitious, I mean your Portland or your Portland cements, type one through five, your supplementary cementitious, be they silica fume, uh, class F, class C, ash, slag, metacaolin, or your alternative supplementary cementitious materials, whether that's uh, naturally mined materials or the manufactured kind. So 540 pounds of total cementitious and our water cementitious ratio is a 0 .40. And while this doesn't go into our calculation, this is something that we want to consider, especially when we're looking at the dosage. Now, the dosage is very specific to the high range water reducer product that you were using. And today, we're just going to use some unnamed high range water reducer. The other piece that we want to assume about the high range water reducer is that it is 60% water or 40% solids. And that's something that we'll have to use later on when we have to yank water out of our batch water from our cubic yard that the high range water is bringing. So let's get on to that calculation. Which way am I supposed to go? You can just point. This way? Yeah, this way. Okay, so into our mouth. Um, I, I mentioned it before, the high range water reducer dosage is going to be dependent on a few things. The first thing is back of the soup can, what the manufacturer tells you about the high range water reducer, how to use it in the dosage, and that's going to be dependent on not only the concentration of the polycarboxylate in there, but also the other bells and whistles that they put into the high range water reducer, not only to get that initial slump or that initial spread, but also that slump and spread over time, we call it a slump life or slump evolution or any other tricks that they're trying to get into this high range water reducer package. So for our unnamed high range water reducer, we're gonna be using a dosage of four fluid ounces per CWT per cubic yard. And if you don't know what a CWT means, it means cement hundred weight. So for us, we're using cementitious, and we have a total of 540 pounds of cementitious per cubic yard. So to get cement hundred weights, all we need to do is take that 540 pounds per cubic yard and divide it by one 100 weight. And that will give us 5.4 cement hundred weights per cubic yard. This is 100 pounds, oops, per CWT, so the pounds cancel out these flips. So we have CWT per cubic yard. So we have 5.4 CWT, cement hundred weights per cubic yard. And then what we do is we're just using that dosage rate that we've decided on and multiply it by our CWTs. So fluid ounces of our high range water reducer per cubic yard equals 5.4 CWTs times four fluid ounces per CWT or cementitious hundred weight. And that gives us 21.6 fluid ounces per cubic yard. Now that is your high range water reducer admixture in a liquid form. But bear in mind, when we talk about anything with concrete, the most important piece of it is our water cementitious ratio. Water means everything when it comes to concrete. Not enough and you go through self desiccation. Too much, you won't get the flow, the spread that you need. Same thing on the other side of that coin, not enough water, but you can also, with too much water, cause durability issues and strength issues. Now, when it comes down to it, our high range is 60% water. 
Now, that's a lot of water for the chemical, especially if we're doing a very sensitive mix. A mix that has a low water cementitious ratio or a water cementitious ratio that has been dialed in based not only on strength, but maybe also shrinkage and cracking and who knows what else. So we've got to stick to that high range water reducer. Therefore, we need to yank out that water from the batch that our high range water reducer is bringing to the concrete. And the way that we do that, can you throw me that? Oh, that marker again, we take our water reducer dosage, which is 21.6 fluid ounces. We multiply it by 60% because that's our water content of our high range water reducer. And that gives us 12.96 fluid ounces per cubic yard of water that we need to take out of our batch water. Now, normally that's a fairly difficult thing to do. So instead of measuring or saying that we need to take 12.96 fluid ounces of water out, what we do is we convert that water, that volume of water, to a weight of water. And 12.96 fluid ounces is right about a tenth of a gallon if we assume that we have 128 ounces per gallon. And every gallon of water weighs around 8.345 pounds. So if we have a tenth of a pound or a tenth of a gallon, that means our weight of water that we need to take out per cubic yard is just under a pound or around 0.8345 pounds of water that we need to take out of our batch water per cubic yard of concrete. And if you have 10 cubic yards of concrete, that means you need to trim out or remove 8.345 pounds of water. Wow, that's a lot of points and that's a lot of numbers. And it's still snowing outside. It's a gorgeous day today. So, thanks for joining us. Hopefully you learned something. Let me know if you got any concrete questions, concrete concerns. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Go concrete! Beat us all.